welcome in to the DNVR Rapids Winners Lounge. We're presented by Ivaca TV. I'm your host, Mitchell Carroll, a.k.a. Mitchell, and I am joined by just two the, the bad boys of the DNVR Rapids beat. The baddest of the boys. I got super producer Yaya up top, up to my left, wherever, right? Whoa. There he is. You're back on the show, baby. We missed you. Two shows in a row without you. It was weird. Yeah, I was dealing with some shit. Um, so, I'm back, though. I'm back. In it. I'm better than ever. Let's go. Back. Yeah, yeah. Back. Let's go. And, of course, back on his match day graphic game. You really do absolutely love to see it. Not just a Dwayne Brown. It is the Dwayne Brown. What's up, bud? What's up? Happy to stay up late and talk about winning. You know what's funny? So, obviously, Rapids get the 2-1 win over San Jose. Um, get some massive help in the the around the league with, with losses by um, both Salt Lake and the Galaxy. Um I thought going into this presser where we talked to Keegan, obviously man of the match with an absolute banger of a goal. Um, we talked to Danny Wilson and we talked to coach and to a man, they all started because they start with their own comments. And then we ask questions to a man in their comments. It was, they were frustrated and they were, they said none of them thought anybody played well. I and I was like, and I'm like, I guess I <laughs> sort of agree, agree. but like, <laughs> w- like, I mean, I get it, right? You're in a mode now where you have to basically be perfect, right? And yes, they won, but you now have to win three more games, basically, right? So I, I, I understand why they were upset, but man, well, that was a sweet freaking game, dude. That was so was fun. Sweet. So I want to start up negative because then we're just gonna build it up. Sure. And that's the and the thing is, I completely agree. With uh, what everybody said, they were all bad tonight. There's no way they should have walked out of this game with the victory, but they did. But they did. That's the thing. Like, I completely agree, man. Like, I was looking at everybody on that squad. I'm like, can somebody step up? It was like, it was that meme with that guy poking and like, can you do something? <laughs> like, that's literally what it felt like most of the game for me. Honestly, we were all very entertained by your Twitter feed on Press Road, and we all kept asking for yeah, yeah updates because they were hilarious. Um, uh, I was on one tonight, honestly, dude. I was just, my <laughs> heart was in this one. I was on <laughs> um, Dwayne, we were able to hang out today. Shout out, we hung out with uh, a bunch of guys uh, from the chat. We're down, we're at the the tailgate. Yeah, thanks the for um, hanging out with us over at the C thirty eight tailgate. Um, That's get him all you around. had you had um, a great view of Diego Rubio's goal, which we didn't talk about yet. Um, I did. I thought if I had to pick a who played the best, not necessarily man of the match, I think Diego is up there. Um, I thought he was a really good presence um, as that ten, kind of steadying the attack that had a lot of trouble finding you know, a lot of trouble connecting to each other and, and extending attacking chances. What did you see from Rubio? What did you see from that attack? How, you agree that they didn't play well, but but what are your thoughts on, you know, the win? Like getting to, you know, getting two goals and get enough to win. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's the same as kind of what everybody else is saying. Like it, it was weird because most of the game and even the drive home, like, it was a weird feeling because I was like, this game was a bit of a disappointment, but I'm really happy for several things. One, we got the win. Two, Diego Rubio is another goal closer to the record. My God. Huge thing for me. Three, uh, no injuries tonight. Four, uh, no yellow card danger. Yeah, none. Um, yeah, I mean, doctor, yeah. Dude, that was honestly, doctor. yeah. For the second so, I mean, game in a row, the guys who you have to worry about for the second game in a row, the guys you need to worry about, none of them got a yellow. Yeah. So, I mean, 
it was a weird thing because of the game, and it's kind of like you were saying the players were saying after the match, is that it felt like a big disappointment. But, you know, on, on the other side of it, driving home, I was like, well, here are the good things, you know, like I just listed off. Um, so, you know, there really great things happened as well. Um, that shot from Keegan just... Let's talk Holy about it. Let's cow. go. Let's talk about it. Let's like, go. Uh, why wait, 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 let's the Keegan just... talk because the, the Keegan talk is going to dominate like 40 minutes of this pod. Okay, and okay, okay, okay. We'll wait on Keegan. Baby. We'll wait on Keegan. Talk. We'll wait on Keegan. Talk. Let's talk about Diego. Let's talk about Diego. All right, let's talk about Diego. That goal uh, surprised me. Um, Shut up, Bono. I did. Yeah. I, I, did. <laughs> I was even though I was watching it, like all of a sudden there was a goal, and I was like, wait, what? Um, yeah, it, it was just, I, I was not expecting it and it just, I don't know, it was, it was just kind of like a sneaky goal. So did, did you see who assisted that goal downtown Dwayne Brown on that one? Do you see who assisted Keegan? Was that the, was that the max assist? That was the max assist. Oh, Our guy Keegan got on the score oh, sheet, Keegan. baby. Oh, you're back to Keegan. I thought we were talking about Ruby. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> so today, I decided to take notes of just so I can jot down my mind. I'm going to go through some really quick ones that I thought were like, why? Minute 43. Keegan gets burned by Cade. Why? Uh, minute 51. Started run runs ball out of bounds by himself. Why? Literally after that was minutes. a tough one. That was a really tough one. Minute, minute 55. Bad pass from Jack to Lewis. Why? And then at the very end, 88 minute. Lewis makes bad decision on a two on one breakaway. Why? Those were more like I'm like the whole game had me scratching my head, man. Yeah. If we're talking about something like, because I do want to talk a little about the negative. Because after this, I'm just gonna go full hype, sure, and then sure, I'm sure. not gonna be able to like get back into any negative. I just keep I'm... drifting. My brain can't get off the Keegan rocket. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can. I'm trying so hard. I'm trying. So... I even set up no. Dwayne with a question about something completely different. It's just like it's impossible. Look, here, I'll bring that was bad in my opinion. Keegan, I thought the first half was getting burned by Kate. Yeah, Kate's really that, good. And, <laughs> yeah, and I was about to say that's nothing against Keegan. Cade is just yeah. like he might be, he might be bound for year. He's 18 years old, been in the league since 16 years old, and he's been running fools for a minute now. <laughs> this unit yeah. just does this for like it's nothing against Keegan. It just happens. Yeah, I thought Wilson's marking was bad. He there was a couple times where he struggled in marking, both in uh mm-hmm. and uh what's it called. I forgot, man. I'm I'm still thinking about Keegan. Yeah, thinking, yeah, yeah. I know, oh, I know, yeah. I know. Yeah, in a uh, set piece, he his marking was still not good. Um, also, I thought Lucas had some arrogant passes, and I thought Jonathan Lewis lacked a lot of confidence in um in Lucas yeah. after this today as well. <laughs> I could really tell the lack of confidence. Ah, uh, Dwayne Crest, Crest of a dog. Rocket, welcome to the podcast. Speaking um, of Keegan's shot. My dog is named after that shot. <laughs> total um, one thing I liked, and I wish we got more of, but I understand. Well, maybe I don't understand why, and we can maybe talk about that. One thing I, I saw that I really liked, and I wanted more of, we got 12 minutes, 12 minutes of Jack Price and Felipe Gutierrez playing together. And I thought that was the most composed, possession-oriented, calm, 12 minutes of the game and it wasn't even close. It was as good as the team looked It was as good of passing as it looked as organized, organized as they were all night long. And then, you know, Max came in and had a lot of, you know, you know, 20 year old, 21 year old mistakes. Um, But I really bad though. They were loud. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And he's another one kind of like Keegan where it's like you can find a lot of negatives, but you can also find, you know, the game. The one positive so like, yeah, yeah, like, um, but man. Yeah. And like, I'm, yeah, like Juan, like, man, like I know, I know Juan saying, you know, San Jose is the worst team on the road and they played really well. And maybe this is an undeserved win, but like San Jose was eliminated from the postseason with this loss, right? Like if they're not going to show up and play poorly, right? There's this yeah. literally – Like, no matter what happened tonight, the Rapids could not have been eliminated. But 
San Jose was, right? So of course they're going to show up and give their absolute best effort, even if they're a bad road team, even, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I think, you know, by about minute 70, I think they really fell off. Like, you know, I don't think there was too, you know, besides that crossbar scariness, right? Like yeah. outside of that, which was nearly the the time, you know, it was just, I don't think they yeah, really added it. I did want to say, man, Montero and Cater B. Yeah, they gave they gave you the say, spin. like they're all sick. Yeah, they gave the rapid spins all game, and all credit to them. Like literally, like I don't want to take anything away from them. Like they, I thought they had a great game. It just the rapids were due. Sometimes it's not your night of the rapids. I found out night and night in. Yeah, but so. okay. Anyways, really quick, I want both of your takes because I did. We did ask. Um, we asked both Keegan and. Um, coach about it what do you guys see from felipe and price because i think if price is full go healthy i think that's what you want to see as the two midfielders next to diego for the stretch run right like that's that would be the optimal starting midfield i think the biggest thing you see is uh they play different positions and they don't overlap so they cover different parts of the field that are like necessary to control the midfield diego likes to do a box to box kind of thing at times where he plays all the way back as a defender and then he plays all the way forward as a striker. So he has he has full freedom. So I think what Felipe does, he can kind of jump in into any spot that Rubio's not in. And Jack can kind of control the pace of that hectic of that hectic chaos midfield that sometimes occurs when Rubio wants to run around. So in my opinion that's what Felipe and Jack really give Rubio a leash to kind of go out and do whatever he needs to do to get the game and to feel comfortable. What about you, Dwayne? I know you're a big Felipe guy. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to speak to Felipe because because I, I honestly didn't didn't pay attention too much. Um, uh, <laughs> that's not a shot at all. It's just facts. Uh, sure. What I, what I what I did watch um, just because we've been out without it for so long was. Uh, I was really watching Price come on to the pitch, oh, it and was... it was within it was within seconds that he came in. He was already mm -hmm. like staring dudes down, mm -hmm. pointing them down, yelling at them where they should be versus where they were. And uh, man, you know man, where I noticed I that, that the most it, it, specifically? It, it, it's instantaneous. Specifically, I noticed that when um, Jonathan Lewis drew that foul up the left side just past midfield and then immediately stood up and tried to take the free kick and start the play. The ref whistled it back. And then Jack Price is standing at the spot. Like, Jack gave him a mouthful. Fuck <laughs> down. Yeah, yes. Like <laughs> it was nice to see though. It was really nice to see. And he really is. The and they you know that was kind of the message. I mean like you know as we as we talk to more players we've only yeah. seen you know two games of Jack. So after every game we're asking you know after the last two games we're asking like what's it like playing with Jack? Like what's it like to have Jack back? And calm is always the word that comes up the most is is he's such yeah. a calming presence and and you saw it several times where he was like let's breathe let's control this game that ending sequence with him and Giassi down in that left corner where they were just that wasting time together was that just was perfect so man that was like uh just I love that shit I live for that shit man it is so I fun find, I find it so hilarious that um Jack is the calming presence and he's like the most frantic character I feel like in a daily basis like he's just <laughs> frantic and I feel like him being calm is like such an oxymoron I know I'm just like his face is like permanently like crazy yeah, like privately, like, I'm gonna beat your ass and go. <laughs> <laughs> and Jack is just like, dude, calm down, man. We're not doing anything. Give words say, like, we're gonna calm down. We're gonna have a good game. But his face is just like, yo, I won't, like, mess you up real quick. And you look at me crooked. Man. Man. It's like, I guess, you know, and I, I, I was kind of shocked at how they all thought that, um, you know, that no one played well, but I mean, I guess it's true, but also what was nice is that like San Jose didn't play really, really all that well either. I think their work rate was high, but I don't think they were ever, you know what I mean? Like just kind of all I around. Think they had good players. But not yeah. Good In high work rates, but even then there weren't a ton, you know, honestly the play of the game that I think is, is going to go unnoticed or maybe it is going noticed. I don't know. I haven't, you know, pretty much by the end of the game, I'm off Twitter and, and focused on the presser and driving home 
not a hundred miles an hour, Joseph, but I did hit ninety or ninety five a couple times. Um, Let's go. We got Dom Toretto. <laughs> <laughs> they fixed seventy six. 76 from 25 to Pecos. It's not like this anymore, so I can go really fast. Um, no, the, the, the moment that really saved the game, saved the absolutely 100% saved three points, period, was that head injury to Nathan on the counter off of a, a set piece was a five-on-one after a max turnover. It was a five-on-one going the other way, and Nathan was rolling around on the ground like he got his head chopped off, and – they whistled completely dead, ref begging the medics to come out, stopped a five on one that the Rapids had no chance of defending. No yep. chance. Zero. He blew it for them. It would have been, it, it would have been that. that it saved the game. Saved the game. That killed me. <laughs> I can't, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Like, they got lucky that Nathan decided to fake that he got murdered. Like maybe they yeah. did. I didn't really see it. No, he actually got hit. I actually saw it. He, actually, he like I saw it on TV. He actually got hit. It was a pretty good knock. Yeah, it was a pretty good knock. Where the point where like he was actually holding his head, and that's when you hold your okay. head because it's a head injury. You got sure, a sure, sure. So it was like he actually got hit there. I don't okay, know so it was but, okay. Like, so it was yeah, legit. It was, stop it. Like yeah, it was like legitly like it was a good reason to stop it, but mm-hmm. I think he um how much it affected the game, I don't think it was worth it. I think the concussion would have been better than losing this game. I mean, happy they stopped the game. Um, it's funny because, like, we try and turn around in the box where um, I think it's one of the rapid stack guys or something. I don't know exactly what he does. I'm pretty sure it's stats. Sorry. Uh, but there's um, they have altitude on, like, up and behind us. So it'll be staying at the game. Try and catch the replay. Don't miss anything. Catch, you know, 30 second delay, 20 second delay, whatever it is. And we just missed that one. Um, one, I thought dude died. <laughs> yeah, but he, um, he, got, he did get hit pretty hard, man. Good thing Nathan's okay, but it's not joking, fun, but because he's okay. Um, <laughs> that dude's thought I had for the rap, which all of a sudden you're like, Nathan, I don't know. Um, okay, let's. Okay. I mean, is there anything else? That isn't just pure Yasolina that we want to go in on. Like uh, I want to talk about Michael Barrios. And then we can Okay, but that's that's Yasolina, bro. That dude was on no, fire. No, Michael Barrios, no, no, he was bad. Michael I thought Barrios he had a ton good. of good runs in possession. Yeah. From what I could see. He was really involved, but he always made the wrong read, made the wrong pass. Lewis, I think, was and worse he, in terms of that, but no. But no, I think Barrios was worse. Barrios actually had the ball. I think the problem with Lewis is that he wasn't involved that much. So he did. But every okay. time Barrios got the ball, it seemed like Barrios was not. Like, I think he was doing things fine. correctly. He I think was he was just, fine. He was, he was just the guy running without a. He won a header without a purpose. Dwayne he texted me like immediately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he won the header of Barrio style. Like he kind of pushed the other guy and then ran around him real quick and got it. But that counts for me. And I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so the thing about Lewis, one, I, baby. The thing about Lewis that I think was him look really bad and that he had two clear breakaway and that he refused to pass. Lewis. Oh my god. Pass Lewis, the yeah, Lewis ball, bro. Two. Pass the ball. Pass the ball. But or I shoot. If you look at the whole Either game, one. Barrio was worse. I think if Lewis had really too loud of a mistake, but I, I think, think like, Barrios, if you look at the whole game. Barrios received a few just great balls, like where that, like I think if it was Nicholson, which it was eventually, wouldn't have been able to control and keep a keep an offensive attack going and sustained. Um, especially in the first half, he was able to really get to that bottom corner, that bottom right corner of the box. Now, granted, no one could finish. He put two balls right on Giassi's head. Right, like Jossie had two really good header opportunities yeah, off of Barrios' sure. runs to into the box, right in front of Dwayne actually, because I could see Dwayne. That's how empty the stadium was. I could pick <laughs> Dwayne out from, from that far away. Um, you saw the you saw the best looking guy in the stadium. And like, and I was like, yeah. it was just sparkles and light. Yeah. All right, one twenty three. The thing I do like the thing I, I like say about Barrios is that he had more opportunity to do more. Mm-hmm. If he had his men beat and he kept doing it, like he kept beating his man and did absolutely nothing with it, and he would lose possession right after. Yeah, 
That's yeah. why I think it was yeah. bad. Yeah. It wasn't like, it wasn't like, and I thought, hot take, I thought Nicholson was the best being dressed tonight. Oh, whoa, whoa. I, that thought is a pretty, I don't know if that's like a hot take. Only but because was he was so uninvolved, except for like one pretty good little spell of possession late. And that was better than um, anybody else had on that week. I don't know. I still take those mic runs and clean clean passes into the box over yeah. anything Nicholson's doing. I'm with Mitch on this one. <laughs> yeah, he. I mean, if, you, if you're add, moving, if you're moving the ball down towards the other team's goal, you're already doing a lot more than the sluggish <laughs> team was tonight. And I, Barrios, I, Barrios gets <laughs> plus points too. I thought Barrios was so bad, man. I just thought Barrios was so bad tonight. Wow, Mikey I B hater over here, here, bro. Mikey Dude, B hater. The thing is, the thing Haters in the building. I, like, I realized why he's uh I realized well I realized why he might be a bench player and not a starter on the team. Mikey? Yeah. No, he's definitely a starter. He's a starter, but I think because they don't have any other choices. <laughs> yeah. And I love yeah. Mikey. I think right. he's better All right, Warners is right though. Who's about to break the season goal right? Okay, so do we, like, can we get into the Yaselina? I'll do the yeah, ad read if we can get into no, the Yaselina. No. I'll do the ad read. Okay. <laughs> this Yaselina is brought to you. By the homies at Ivaca TV, right there above <laughs> Wing Shoulder. Uh, straight up, Ivaca is the goat of Colorado sports programming. That is the greatest of all television. Uh, listen, there's multiple Ivaca users in the chat. There's at least one Ivaca user on screen right now. I don't know if Dwayne has Ivaca. He should. Ivaca is the new uh, is. Uh, delivering amped up sports coverage for Colorado fans featuring altitude. You only have a few games. You only have what two games left of cello and, uh, and uh, uh, Fleming because tonight was their last home game. Um, AT&T sports net. Catch that Rockies hunt for 69, baby. We need it. We need to hit that over. And of course, NFL network, wow. you can get the most regional content for the lowest price for sports in Colorado, all in crystal clear HD while using less bandwidth. And you can enjoy over 60 entertainment channels, including news, movies, and more. Turn your home into the ultimate game viewing zone. You can even stream your teams from your phone, laptop, or tablet when you're on the go. You can also add on a discounted Sling TV bundle to get ESPN and more. Vodka is only $25 a month plus a $5 receiver fee. Right now, Colorado sports fans get $10 off a month for three months. That's $15 a month. To score that deal, go to evoca.tv slash Colorado10. That's E-V-O-C-A dot TV slash Colorado10. No contracts, no catches. Evoca is TV made for champions of the remote. We also have to shout out the homies. We have more homies now than ever. Game time. If you're buying tickets to this last game against Dallas, why are you not using game time? What are you doing? Go right now into the link in the show description right now. It's right there. It's like right there. You go right to game time. They have a 110% price match guarantee. If you find a lower price for the, the ticket somewhere else, you will get 110% off your next order. AKA, they will pay you to go to a game after that. Um, straight up, they are the best. I think we're all using game time. Go to the Rockies game on Tuesday. It's be a big old DNVR hangout up on the party deck. So you guys should definitely join us if you're in town and want to go check that out. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're all in on game time. They're the absolute homies. Um, and then last but not least, the DNVR bar is back, baby. We just had opening weekend and it ruled. It ruled so hard. I saw Yaya there. I saw Dwayne Brown there. I saw D-Line there. It was a veritable who's who of the DNVR Sports YouTube channel. Um, it was super fun. The bar is sick. I think we have two and a half times the TVs we had before. Something like that. We have like 30 screens, including a giant four screens to make one screen. Huge over movie. the whole bar. Um, the food is fantastic. The staff is all in. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at Waters, man. I, I am too. Yeah, Waters was Waters, invited. Waters, we're just open. We're not going to invite the whole world to come to an yeah. open bar. Just come to the bar. It's Every, open. Everyone's invited every day. Literally. Literally. 
it was everybody of everybody. <laughs> it was so sick. Dev was there. Dev. You know what's you know what's messed up though, and I don't know if Dev is watching. I haven't seen him in the comments, but I got I got a bone to pick with Dev. I finally got a Twitter like from Dev, which is pretty dope. Dev came to the DNVR bar for the Broncos game on Monday. Great time. Do you you know what Dev ordered when he was here? Hot dog with ketchup. No, he ordered the brat. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? We have a hot dog on the menu. Called Got That Dog. <laughs> and he ordered the brat. He looked at the menu and ordered a brat. I am just, I'm beside myself with Dev. Dude, that's what we call Bossy. He already knows he he's not gonna have a better hot dog than what he's what he's making at the tailgate. That's true. Might as well might as well try the brat. All I, right, I, block I, one, block him for 15 minutes, bolt up, get out of here. I will say, I will say, I got a place for <laughs> Wilson and the Broncos. They sacrificed themselves so the Rapids could win today. It's true. So let's, I'll give it up to the Broncos real quick. Yeah. We'll, shout we'll, out. Shout out, man. man. <laughs> sports, man. Let the Rapids win today. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, well, the burgers were good tonight, Kevin. I had a burger. At the, it was cool getting a burger at the C38 tailgate. You don't always get burgers. Um, but here we go. All right. Yeah, yeah. My guy, me and Dwayne, we're clearing out. It's Yasolina time, baby. Fire us up. Fire yeah. us up. The amount of time I wrote bro on my tweets and I had to delete them because I, I was, it was too many. It's out of the world, <laughs> man. Oh, my goodness. This, <laughs> that goal, dude. That goal gave me chills. I looked at my neighbors. I was screaming in Spanish. I started screaming Portuguese that I never even knew I knew. It was just insanity. <laughs> like, this, I, the only time I've ever had this feeling in the soccer game was 2014 or 2013 when Mexico and the U.S. were playing, going for the Confederation Cup. And Paul Aguilar made that goal. And I completely, like, bro, I feel like I'm about to run into a wall thanks to Keegan. Like, <laughs> he, this dude did it unthinkable in my mind. He came in and he just, just like, Yo, let me just look at the goal real quick. Where does the ball need to be? And he put it right. No, he put it where nobody else could touch it. In the words of the great um, Bermudez, El Perro Bermudez of Mexico, Lo puso de las arañas hacen su nido. Put it where the fighters make their web. No, no way the goalie will never get it. Oh, touch that it is so dank, dude. That is <laughs> such a, oh my God, I love that. It will just the perfect way for me to say, I'm back. You have me, Rapid. Take me to my grave. I didn't like, have time to watch the replay of that a lot. Like, I found the video to tweet it out, right? But I didn't, like, I didn't get a chance to watch the extended highlight. Um, but I turned around. Finally, I saw the behind the goal shot. And, man, he put that right, like, oh, it was perfect. Yo, speaking of DNVR, real quick. I know where this is going. The good. breakdown today. You're me, Virgil. Me, I was on the DraftKings breakdown today. And I said, key to victory, Rapids, have to score first. I said, bet the Rapids money line to win. I said, bet Diego Rubio first goal. And I said, they need Real to lose in Austin. And what do you know? All of those fatal. things happened, baby. Nostradamus over here. Yes, that was the goal of the season. It's 100% the goal of the week um, in the MLS. Dude, Keegan, it literally felt like Keegan was on Grey's Anatomy, dude. Running with the crash cart. And he's like, let me revive the season real quick and just went in full paddle. Like, Boom, here we go, boy. Clear. <laughs> it was we, so we sick. Got a, we got a, it was we so got, sick. We got the chest plan coming in in, in in 24 hours. Let's go. Boom. That's exactly how it felt, man. I'm he, uh, oh, my goodness, dude. I still can't get over it, dude. Honestly. We don't always get it. So, like, we always ask for people to come, you know, for the presser. We ask for players, or whatever. We're like, we're like, obviously, Keegan, unless he's player of the game, because player of the game has to do the altitude thing, 
and then the radio the thing and then do the digital team thing. And it's like, you know, eventually, you know, maybe they can make it in, but he actually made it in. And he, we asked him and he's like, no, like I could talk about, I think his exact words were, I could talk about that goal all night. So yes, dude, yeah, it was, man. he knows how sick it was. The team knows how sick it was. Um, Man, my goal of the year. Dwayne, is that your goal of the year? It was freaking awesome. I I'd have to go back and look at it. I don't. Re- I have a crap memory, <laughs> so I couldn't even begin to try and remember all the goals this year. Even though you know it's it's not an overwhelming number, but uh, yeah, currently, uh, it. I mean, it was just a cannon blast. It was. I mean. I, I feel I felt I felt sorry for that soccer ball. I just I felt sorry for the ball because it got smashed. Yeah, Can drop your get, goals a year in the chat if if you don't think it's that. How how beautiful of a rapid fan is to get that Lewis goal last week and then get this one. Two just, on bang, just bangers. It's just like this team is like we only score bangers from that. Bangers on. only like, bangers and mash bruv. J Lou came in and like I only know one angle and it's impossible angle. Ruby was like, well, I only shoot for outside the box. And she was like, y'all want to see what I can do? Dude, it's just nice to see three really nice goals back to back to back. Yeah. I, will I mean, say Rubio's this. now what? I three will away? say this. Oh, go ahead. If the Rapids would just take shots like Keegan did, we would score infinitely more goals like trying to be cutesy and taking it in all the time and lewis going in and then not knowing what to do with it um whichever winger is going to take it to where you're two inches from going out of bounds and then crossing it's the same plays every time if we would just shoot the ball and then let zardas pick up the trash and put it in when there's a rebound we would be in very good shape and not like worried about whether or not mm-hmm. we're going to lose to mm-hmm. San Jose or not, you know, cause that was look every game's going to be a worry, man. Night. Rabbits could have been up four. I, well, one. You I know worried at the end of this game. Like it's just, it's, I it's, wouldn't, I it's, wouldn't have, it's, but I need a three time. goal lead and I'm good. Yeah. yeah. They had a three goal lead against Minnesota and they almost blew it. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And I was worried the whole it. time. I was like, oh, God, here we go. Um, Give man. me a 10 goal lead, man. I'll be worried. Look, you're going to be worried for the rest of the season. It's three <laughs> games of worry coming up, man. Straight up. It is It is three goals of – or three games of stress. 270 minutes of stress. Stress, stress, stress. Um, You know what? I Okay. Man, I just – this is – you have a game where you dominated, right? Vancouver dominated. There was, yes, they got that kind of freak goal on on the the lawless goof, right? But it was a start to finish butt kicking. Then you have this game where you win ugly, and you probably you might not have deserved the win, but you had two great goals and you got the win, right? Have you been more confident in this team going into a road game? Than you are right now, this season. The thing is, man, the Rapids hate driving. Man. No, they I know. Me on the road. I <laughs> know the, for sure. And but they now you lost the game against LA Galaxy like eight now in the row that they beat them. I mean, look, so, they do like play. I think 2017. Yeah, I mean, they're good in LA. They're really good in LA. Not in LAFC, but at the Galaxy, they are. They're great. I'm confident. I'm confident. I'll say I will say I wouldn't be surprised if it's a four old whooping. Dude, and Galaxy got their friggin' tails kicked in by Vancouver tonight, too. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't they got be surprised hosed. if it's a four oh win for the Rapids. But Do I also have- wouldn't be surprised if it's a one oh loss for the Rapids. This game is such high variance. If the amount of talent that's on both squads is just I don't know, man. I just feel re-energized. I feel like it's midnight, and I'm over here talking about how much I love life. Um, um, we have a new graphic for y'all. y'all yeah. Ready? 
Let's give it a little drum roll. Boom. Look at that. Fourth floor to watch. Look at that. Fourth floor to watch. There's so much going on in there that I love so much. Um, except for the Rapids in 10th place. That's not great. Um, That's exactly where they are right now. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. But still. Like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. <laughs> no, but no, 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 I know. Um, but and tonight. We get to put the rushes on tonight. And the rush is on. Um, tonight was, was perfect for the Rapids. Like, I don't know how else to say it. Like, They've had a lot of these nights this year where it was like, oh, man, everything went right for the Rapids except for the Rapids, right? And like tonight was you got the three, Real lost, Galaxy lost. Could not be better. Austin getting its first hat trick in team history, 3-0 shutout of Salt Lake in Austin. Vancouver just beating the crap out of the Galaxy in Vancouver. So now... LA has to travel back on a short week to face the Rapids who are in form. Um, I, I'm feeling so good about this, which means I'm probably going to get my heart broken. Am I right? Uh, yeah, that's how being a Rapids fan is. Man. Like, <sighs> you get your heart broken whenever you have hope, but hope is the thing that keeps us alive. We're probably going to... Hey, Mitch. Yeah. You only need one point from the Rapids in the next three games to not have to eat ketchup. A ketchup soaked hot dog. I'm so excited about this. You only need one point. Like they can do that, right? You got to feel a little bit confident about that. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm feeling really confident. I'm not, <laughs> Joseph, shut up. <laughs> shut up. I'm gonna. I'm, this is this is the internet. I'm gonna say whatever I want. This show is gonna disappear, and I'll say whatever I want on the next one too, because that's the best part about this. <laughs> Just goes away. No rules. We have no parents. No after rules. Midnight. DNVR after dark. If your kids watching this, you're a bad parent. You know. What are you doing? It's midnight. Also, shout out for getting your kid in on DNVR Rapids early. I love yeah. that. But you get a um, so shout out to Kevin. Uh, Kevin, I hope that uh, our our soothing voices are putting your wife to sleep right now. I, I met Kevin's wife today. He said she said that he keeps her up at night because he's listening to our podcast in bed. <laughs> Should Yo, be shout out Kevin. Do ASMR. That's a little you. pillow a little. talk. Wow, the a little whisper. Were fantastic. The rapids were very good. They're making you very sleepy right now. Kevin, I Jack love Rice the whisper, with but I already have one level, man, and that's Max. <laughs> I love to whisper, but I don't know how. <laughs> and the worst part is I have my wife and my brother sleeping in their room. I, like, I really thought uh, Robin Frazier had a wonderful game plan tonight. <laughs> okay, really, though. I was impressed with I've been impressed with Frazier over these last couple games. I don't think it was a ton of stylistic changes, right? Um I do think tonight I would have switched when Max and Warner came on, and that would have been my only tweak to his game plan. But I thought overall they made some good adjustments, including on Cade in the second half. They kind of stopped him from from getting to the box in. They kept him going out and back and down. Um, I, um, I don't know. I'm, I think Frazier's kind of in his bag right now. Again, after a rough stretch, I think he's kind of found his flow a little bit. He chewed up and I feel like he chewed up the team during halftime. Uh, Dempsey on the broadcast went up to him right at the half and he asked, um, uh, what's been, what's wrong with the team? Like, why, like, what do you think of the first half? And he said, Floppy and turnovers, they're not good enough and they need to be better to run away. Straight to the point, he didn't mention words. He said, you're turning it over, you're being floppy, and it's about time that you start playing better. And I feel like you can tell the difference in the energy level coming down into the second half. And I feel like there was a lot of, I'm yelling at you because I love you kind of stuff in the, in the, in the locker room. Dwayne? Oops. 
Dude, my dog is trying to get out, and I'm just like trying to keep him from. You can go let the dog working. out. That's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the dog out. Just yeah, a sec. that's fine. Me and Yaya can run the two man game. What up, mate? Give me a little knuckle nut. Mm. Yo, my guy. Um, <laughs> whoa, Juan Fernandez, our guy, Wanners, star of Wanners Week on the DNVR Rapids podcast, has just predicted his 2022 Cup final, and it is. Drum roll. Are you going to pull it up? Are you going to pull it up on the screen? Colorado Cincy. U.S. men's national team snub. Brendan Vasquez getting a shot at the cup. Real quick, real quick. Cincinnati. I called Brenner being the guy that I thought he was going to be. I wanted Brenner on the Rapids and they could have gotten him. Mm -hmm. And this is why. Dude, who's a talent? He's putting it together. Yep. He has Patrick. He's been contributing like crazy, and he's become a focal point of that squad. And that's what the Rapids needed. And I love Joffe, and I'm glad we have him. But Brenner would have been a piece for now, a piece for the future, and the piece that we could sell to Europe for a high money prize and, mm-hmm. and keep uh, the pair rotation coming with that influx of money. Yeah, I got to give it up for Yaya on that one. That was like you were very, very much in on that early. Brenner's a dude. <laughs> Brenner, you, you, I don't care what you say. Take part of, take part of the way in Rubio's been trash too. Like we can do this all day. I don't agree with that, but like somebody's going to make that argument, man. Sure. Like, hey, Kevin, look at that. Love that, Kevin. Love it. Love it. Love Sammy it. Vines. Sammy Vines, yeah. man. <sighs> dude, he's playing 90 a game. Antwerp is top of the table by five points or something already. Like they already have a gap. Um, man. Again, I said I don't agree with that take. That <laughs> Rubio would be trash without Tarnan. I'm just saying, like somebody's gonna make that argument. Like somebody's always gonna make an argument for the opposite. No matter what. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Get him. Get Yaya on the comments. Well, get him. All you want. That's, it's, 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 it's a bad take. That's a horrible take. But like, there's so many bad takes everywhere that you like. No matter what, like I, I, I can argue. If I would have, if you would have made it Vasquez, you would have been like, well, yeah, take Brenner away and Vasquez is, Vasquez is, Vasquez is gonna fuck. You're like, right. It doesn't matter what I You're said. Right. Like, Brenner is the dude. Brenner's been being that dude. And if you hate Brenner, keep hating Brenner. But dude is killing it in that MLS. No, he's, he's been gonna great. get him to Europe, and he is that guy for that team. He's that guy. He is that guy. And although Brandon Vasquez has helped him out a lot, that doesn't mean that Brandon can't like hasn't developed himself. Like he has to develop and take on the rest of the responsibility and role. So, um, man, how are you guys feeling about the Galaxy game? Are you guys feeling good? I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm all for it. I'm doing you- doing a watch along at this point. Yo, we're doing a watch along for sure. Yeah, I'm thinking of like full on like if we're gonna like put our put our dreams into the bit of my squad doing in front of everybody. And we can watch it at the bar. Yeah. That, right. I'm, I'm that figuring out how we do that. Dwayne, how are you feeling about it? Um, I mean, history says we should all feel very good about that match coming up. So, Which history? The history I'm, of the Galaxy or the history of this Rapids season on the road? Well, <laughs> I'm, going with the, I'm going with the bigger history, which is the Rapids at Galaxy. <laughs> No reason to go with that. Rapids have one road win this season. Insane. And they might make the playoffs. <laughs> I know there's a chance. What, what According is- to 538, it's a 4% chance. But if they beat the Galaxy, who has like a 53% chance, according to the same projections, I mean, let's go. Right? Like, let's I go. Mean, four, you turn that four around. What does that make it? Um, four uh, fingers. Like an octopus. Spider? Makes it an E and then everything's possible. That's not an E. Yeah, that's, that's too many sticks. Like this, sticks. Yeah. <laughs> what? I make no sense. It's midnight. It's DNVR after dark. DNVR after dark, baby. Welcome in <laughs> to the DNVR after dark land. Oh, yeah. By the way, guys, if you guys want to come down to the bar, we might be chilling. Please. Bar Yo, we'll definitely we game, 100% but, yeah. have the game on at the bar, period. Hundred percent. Yep. 
and, and also, like, if there's other MLS games on, which there will be, we'll put those on in different screens too, man. Like, we'll have, we'll accommodate to the sports fans and rapid fans. So, come on by. We'll try to make it as fun as we can. Oh, my days. God. You guys, we could we could do this post-game show in the studio on Saturday. We'll, That's we'll like have a to figure that thing. out. Because I know there's other shows going on. <laughs> so, we'll figure that out. But there's a chance we might be able to do all this one. Intrigued. Look at this. Wanners is just dropping it all for us here. Sounders on the road. Cincy on the road to RSL. Cincy just a freaking goal-scoring juggernaut, kind of. And then Timbers on the road. Ooh. So, Kevin, we so didn't I'm, show the Rockies <laughs> the last, like, two big days. Like, the, the day game, it was all NFL games on Sunday, and then it was yeah, literally every true. screen was on the Broncos on Monday. <laughs> it, so... Is Ma- is Paul Monster any just like secretly like sabotaging the uh, Real Salt Lake right now so the Rapids can make the playoff? I hope Top so. Take of the year, Homer take of the year. Paul I hope so. The secret agent trying to take our cell down and find out. Yeah. Oh man, Dwayne, your dog is the superstar of this show it's right just, now. He is driving me crazy. Right. Okay. Now. I know. It's all driving good, baby. Yo, it's all good. It's that- an after midnight podcast, baby. We could, it's 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 all he's all, hum- he's all hopped up on winners lounge. Love yeah, you know rocket rules. My dog's passed out over there. It's great. I thought you would be all over yeah, me because I was I gone. I really dog. Yeah. I love um, my wife. My <laughs> I don't guys, need you right now. You guys, let's do that thing that we've done a couple times on the show. I don't know if it's a segment yet, but it can be. I know we talked about a lot of things we liked from this game. We talked about the stars for sure. We talked about some negatives. But let's <laughs> give some. I'm sorry, that B-Ray call I just got. B-Ray, there is no hamster. Yeah, it's a guinea pig first. Come of all. on. <laughs> that got, that got me. Just pay the guinea pig. On okay. The right. you do. Let's give some flowers. <laughs> let's each give some flowers before we do the plugs and wrap it up. Um. <laughs> I'm going to start with Yaya. Uh, my flowers go... Uh, I'm going to give my flowers to Lala for the car. Oh, good one. I liked, it. I liked how Lala played. You didn't hear his name much, and that's a good thing for him. Great thing. So I thought Lala said, great. You love the guy. You love to see him have a good game Best after dude. having that blooper last... Uh, having that blooper of a goal against him last week, so... I thought all this came out and came to me. He came back a couple of times at the end. Yeah, you're Literally. right. Dwayne, who's your flowers going to, bud? Uh, Wanners just took mine. Oh, um, but I'm, going with, I'm going with Fleming and Balboa for their last home game. Fantastic. Um, such a long and good run. Um, just fun dudes to watch them interact with each other and just – you know, there, there's good soccer knowledge, but it's just fun. Like they made it fun, um, yeah. and that's not always easy to do with sports. You know, when a when a team is good, super easy. When when a team is not good, it's hard. And they figured that out. And so, just want to, you know, throw a shout out to both of those guys. Congratulations on just an awesome run. Um, and what a great final goal call. Them. Yes. Oh, dude, what a way to, like, show A scorcher! Show fighting in a couple of, like... Love it. It was great. It was awesome. Like, great way to, like, just honor them out the door at the last home game with that amazing goal and that amazing call. So, it was awesome. Okay. How about you, Mitch? My flowers. I do like Kevin giving his flowers to Yarby. I think that's a good one. Um... I think, though, my flowers are going to go to Felipe Gutierrez. I, I think he was qu- pretty quiet, but what you're seeing from him is that steady, calming presence in a different way than Jack Price brings it, but just so sure with the ball at his feet, it's going to go in the right place. He had some great deep balls to Lewis up the left side. Um, and I think what what why I'm giving him as far as because I think now – you can start Price, Rubio, Gutierrez in that midfield together and have 
a veteran, talented, technically sound, just great group together. A group of players that actually play different positions and don't overlap, which True. I feel like sometimes is the problem with the rap is that. One, I said last home players. call. Yeah, it's the last home call. They have the uh, FC Dallas game is a national game. But yeah, so I'm just I'm stoked for where the midfield's at. I think you can move Acosta into that sub role now, which is like great. Right. And then Warner's not your defensive possession sub. Right. Like, I think that's perfect. Like, that's that's why he was brought here. So, so we also uh, say that whenever Max plays the midfield really quick, when he plays the actual midfield instead of the wing, I feel like he's worse than better. And he struggles. Yeah. And he did today. Yeah, I but I also want to give him flowers him. because he yeah, beat whatever. Sam Nicholson in the race for the score sheet, baby. The race for the, the, the race for the We've team. talked about it for like four straight podcasts because to me it's still like the most interesting <laughs> problem of like who gets the score first. Um, I love that there's a I love that there's a playoff race and we just focus on the sports race. <laughs> I think it's interesting. <laughs> no, I, I love it, dude. I'm not like making fun of you. I actually like legitimately love it. I think it's great. So you're like um, focus on the score sheet. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I want to find. Okay, Real quick, so now quickly. with that, oh, go ahead. There's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. There's now six players, five and a half, mm, five players who play regularly, who haven't gotten on the score sheet yet. That is Sam Nicholson, Mark Nick, uh, Gus. Okay, so three regular Mark players. Cow. Yeah, I think Mark Nick. Okay, well, then two regular players, but then Drew Moore, Markinick, Preso, Yappy, and Gus all also haven't got on the score sheet yet. What about Yarby? Yarby hasn't, but I'm not counting him because he's not an outfield player. Yo, he's out there. He, can make he had an assist, I think, last year against Austin, though. Yeah, I think. exactly. That's like or it might have been. I think he did. Okay, but of those players, did anything I say there – do you think any of those guys get off the no goal, no assist list? Uh, Refresher: Nicholson, Markinick, Moore, Preso, Gus, Yappy. They have three games. I'll go Estevez. Well, Estevez has assists and a goal, so oh, he doesn't count. Never mind. How beautiful would it be if it? I don't remember. I don't remember. Yappy would be dope. A Gus header would be dope if he comes in late for like a sub or something. Juan, come on. Of course, Galvan hasn't scored. Yeah, Kata he has. hasn't scored. He scored every heart out there in the Rapids run. I don't think any of them get on it, but it would be dope if they did. Yeah. I think Nickel. I would say Yarby has the best chance out of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so dope. That'd be Goalie funny. goal. That'd be so late. I'm not saying I think an assist. I, I, I mean, a goal would be super rad. Did but. you guys see that Queen's Park Rangers goalie goal from a couple weeks ago? Like a 90 no, second I minute winner know. on a set piece header? Oh, no. But Liga Mekin did have two this past weekend as well. Two headers from goalies. I mean, so let's go. It happens all the time, dude. Like, yeah, I let's remember go. in 2013, America, America goalie in Los New York scored a header in the final. In the 90th minute, 10 men with 10 men to win the cup. Let's go. Goalie goals come at every chance, man. You Goalie goals. Know. All right. I think that's going to do it for us tonight, guys. Um, yeah, yeah. Wait, why don't you give one more flowers to give the man of the hour? He gave Who? Rosenberry. He well, we talked about him for like 25 case. minutes. Well, still, we got a time <laughs> to get the flower, though. If you're looking to Keegan, you get all the flowers tonight, man. Call up your local flower shop and just put it on the credit card. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, flowers to King. <laughs> Seven dozen roses to King and Rosenberry. I'm just trying to put me in debt right now. That's fine. Do it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Start us off with some plugs. Maybe give them a heads up of scheduling and anything. Tell them what's good. Um, uh, we plan, we're going to talk about it, but there might be a watch along Saturday, so keep your eye out. Uh, we'll definitely keep you guys updated with that. If not, we'll definitely be down at the bar watching the game, and you can yes. guys come down there with us, 
and yes. now we'll have multiple um, multiple games going on at once. Yes. Um, also, follow the DNVR Rapids account. Mitch is doing a great job of running that. He's always putting out great content, so check yeah. that out. And just give us a a review on, on our uh, on anywhere you hear the spot. Go to uh, Spotify, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, and give them a five star review with a nice. And if you give them a five star review and leave a comment, we'll give you guys a shout out on the next spot. It's true. We will do that. Downtown Dwayne Brown, go ahead and drop it. Um, I got I got nothing to push other than some sweet sweet DNVR merch. Yo. Over at the DMVRlocker.com. Get yourself a sweet little uh, DMVR rapid scarf, Let's maybe go. a shirt. Ooh. Put it together. Talk dirty to And uh, just sashay your DMVR sexy self all around the Denver metro area. Love it. And just watch the accolades fall from the skies Ooh. Ooh. to you Ooh. Ooh. all over. <laughs> Um, other than that, just thanks thanks for staying on plate with us, everybody. Yeah. Um, Wanner's absolutely you're invited to the watch along. Yes. Wanner, you are Denver. always invited to the bar because it's all it's open to all. <laughs> Especially the Wanners. <laughs> Wanners, I'm inviting you to the bar that is open to the public <laughs> on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> It's, or any day. Really. More importantly, day. everyone in the chat and is listening and watching to this show. <laughs> we all want to have everyone's in yeah. We'd love to like hang um, out with you guys. All right, guys, start dropping them in the chat because I know it takes a little bit of delay before it's from here to there and you see it. So start dropping them in the chat. You know what I'm talking about. Look, follow, like, subscribe, DMVR Sports on YouTube. You'll get the notification when we go live. You'll get to watch the Nuggets boys and the Rockies and uh, uh, the Broncos right now. And the college beats are back up. Um, all of that. So get in on that. Get your membership. Get your merch. Come down to the bar. Hang out with us. Let's have some fun. And more importantly, up the pits. Oh.